Hey gamers, it's Winter here from Grind This Game, and I've had Factorio on my kind of wish list for quite some time. I've watched a few videos. It looks really cool. It kind of reminds me of RimWorld a bit, and a bit uh, reminds me a bit of Oxygen Not Included, in that you can snap together components to make elaborate machines. And I think the goal in the game is to build a rocket ship and get off the off the planet, but you have to build many things before to get there. So let's get started. I'm by no means an expert. Uh, I've only done the basic tutorial and that's it, so I'm going to be making lots of mistakes. So this is more of a let's play than a guide. But I really wanted to check it out, so let's do a new game. And I'm going to go default for everything. So yeah, here's a free play. You're supposed to launch a rocket into space. So yeah, start small and work your way up to automation. And you'll you get attacked by aliens. Uh, Basically, the more pollution you make on the planet, uh, the more the aliens will attack you. So you start off with this little guy here. And there's various resources around. There's, this is iron. You can see on a mini-map, um, coal, copper, iron. I hear iron is the, like the most used ore. And there's stone, and there's water. So coal is to fuel machines, uh, stone is for making furnaces, and water is for steam power later on. So if you right mouse button click, you can start mining. And I was like, why is it so slow compared to the tutorial? And I realized you have to go and make a, a pick first. So to open this crafting menu, you just hit E, and then there's different tabs in here. So I'm going to make an iron axe first. So there, it's been made. Now it's much faster. So get some iron ore. And the pick does wear out, so you might want to make another one later on. So we got some iron. Let's get some wood from these trees. It's right mouse button to harvest. So what else do we have? We have coal up here. Let's set up to get some coal. And you start off with, oh, what's this green stuff? Uranium. Oh, never seen that before. So you start off with a burner mining drill and a stone furnace. So a burner mining drill, you just kind of place over the resource. And you can see how much resources underneath it uh, in the right here. So 2.6k, 2.8, So I'll just put it on the outside like this. And it needs fuel. And you can burn, I think, wood or coal in it. So I'll mine a little coal here. And then we'll put some coal in. Now you can drag it with the mouse like this into the fuel slot. Or you can just control right click. Actually, control left click puts it all in, control right click puts half a pile in. And it'll, it'll, it'll mine until it's dumped one thing on the ground. So you can put a box in, in front of it, and you can make boxes under the first tab here, logistics, wooden chest. So I'll make one of those. And we'll stick it right in front here. And that way the machine will We'll mine the ore, or mine the coal, and stick it in this box. And you can see what's... You can hit Alt to turn on these uh, kind of indicators, so you can see what's what. So I just usually leave it on all the time so I can see stuff. So you're using coal to mine coal. <laughs> so we'll go back to this ore deposit here. And we want to make another one of those mining things. Uh, where is it? Burner mining drill, we need some iron gear wheels, so we need a bit of iron first. But to make iron plate we need a furnace, so let's build a furnace right here. And it needs coal for fuel. And it needs iron ore. And it'll build up metal plate in here, so we got three, four. Control click, control left click just to grab everything.
Oh, it's done already. Needs. What does it need? Oh, more iron ore. Okay. So now we need a stone furnace, so we need some stone. Where can we find some stone here? Stone is way off to the left here, so we're going to have to make a little bit of a journey over there. Quit the forest here. In our way. We go around. Yeah. Here we go. Stone. So burner mining drill. Now it makes all the subcomponents if it needs subcomponents automatically. Let's get some more stone before we uh, go back. In fact, we might want to leave a burner mining drill right here to collect some stone for us automatically. But we need some coal, so. Just put this here for now. And we need to bring it some coal. Got lots of coal in here. And we should put some coal in this mining drill to get it so it can continue. Now we need to build another one of those mining drills. But for that we need iron plates. So our pick broke. Let's make another one. And let's get that iron ore in there. And some coal. So we need nine metal plates to build a drill to mine here. So now we have enough. Let's stick that right there. And it's going to mine and it's going to feed automatically into this furnace. Let's stick some coal in there. There we go. I'm sure there's way more optimal ways to start up, but I'm just learning, so... Let's build another burner mining drill. What we'll do here is we'll have it mine and we'll have it output. A little yellow arrow is the output. We'll have it output its coal output into this one so it's automatically feeding it. So we only have to feed this one. Oops. So let's put some coal in there. Yeah, so this is 19 coal, 20. Yeah, so this is mining and dumping it in here, and this is mining and dumping it in our crate here. Too bad the stone's so far away. Maybe we can chop our way through here. Make it easier to get to. There we go. A little path. Let's get some coal in there. And we need an output place, like a box. Stick that there. So it'll run for a little while. What's this pink stuff over here? Crude oil. Don't know what to do with that yet. Now it's pretty manual in the first first while until you get some things built and then it becomes a little bit more automated. Just the whole concept of the game, right? Building factories. And I've seen some crazy videos and what people have done with this game. One guy built a video player that can actually play movies and another guy built a factory that builds itself so it just expands outward in a spiral. You can basically like program things like you'd program a computer and make pretty much anything you can think of. And there's, we're going to need some copper at some point too. But 
we need more stone. It's so far away. <laughs> How much stone do we get? Oh, quite a bit. So we can build another burner mining drill. Or six of them now. Now apparently trees block the movement of pollution. And pollution is what kind of angries angers the uh, the natives, the native bugs. So let's put a mining drill here and mine some coal, I mean some copper. Now you can build iron chests as well which hold more. I'm just going to stick with the basic ones for now. Stone furnace. We'll get this to dump into a stone furnace, which will get will make us copper plate. So now to pick up things or disassemble these machines, you just long right click and it'll pick it up. So now we should get copper plate coming in here. Let's build one more drill here and one more furnace. Now you can build transport belts, which are like little conveyor belts. Build a few of those. And there's this, these things called inserters. Burner inserter and a uh, inserter. Which uh, basically move things from one place and put them in another. We could probably use those down by the iron ore. Don't really need them just yet though. Get another one going here. Now there's a way to make steam power using water, so you need an offshore pump. Build one of those. And that sucks the water out. So put one right here. I don't know if the water ever runs out, but not sure. And this has changed a bit in the recent update from what I just figured out. They, I'll show you how they build them now. So you need a boiler. And I think you hook it up like this. But we'll actually, we're going to build some... Oh, if you're building something like that and you want to like cancel it, you don't hit escape, you hit Q. It's a little bit confusing, but... So let's build a... Where are the pipes? Let's build a pipe to ground, which lets you build a underground pipe. The way these work is you... Oh, it's R to rotate, by the way, so you can rotate these things. So if you place it there, it's going to go underground, and it can only go so far, it can only go that far. If you build above ground pipes, you can't walk through them. So this lets you uh, be able to walk. So then we want a boiler. Let's build it this way. Now it needs coal. The other thing we need is a steam engine. Let's put that down. That connects up like this. So the steam, the little steam icon here. So water goes along this way, steam goes this way. So you put your steam engine connected like that. And then that power indicator means that you need power lines to connect it up to whatever you want to connect it up to. But first we need to feed it some coal, so let's go back and get some coal. And let's make sure everything else is still running. Grab this. How's our coal? Oh, just about out. Probably didn't want 38 in there. 18 looks good. 15 looks good, so that's okay. Okay, got some coal now. And this thing needs some coal. So let's 
a bit of running around in the beginning, but like I said, it doesn't. It's not always like that. If the tutorial is any indication. We got that, then we can put coal in our boiler. So that'll generate, if you hover over it, you can see temperature 165, steam 200. Now we need some telephone poles or some power poles. That's under logistics, small electric pole. So we'll build a bunch of those because we got to get all the way over to the other side there. And the way these work is, I think that'll reach. So, if you do these squares flush, you're not getting the full length of the wire, but so you can have that much space in between them. And then you can like left click and kind of run and it'll put them down for you. And what we're going to do is place these burner miners with electric miners. Electric mining drill. So let's pick these up. and put an electric miner down. These are more efficient and they pollute less. So here it is. Let's put it right. So there's 10,000 resources under that, okay. Stick that there. And it says we don't have any power. Is it close enough? I think it is. Oh, oh it wasn't. So there we go, we've... Oh, oh yeah, it, it stops because it, uh, it can only hold a tiny amount, so we got to put a box here for now. So yeah, it makes coal much faster. So we've kind of left the smelting or the burning age by hooking up this electric power. Let's bring some down towards our iron. And let's pick up these two burner miners. And make an electric mining drill. Might as well make a few because we're going to use more in a second. And put that down. That's the wrong thing. Controls take a, a while to get used to. So what do we have under there? 9.3k. Guess that's good. Stick that there. And get a power pole to it. And we need a need to put the furnace in front of it. go. Now I think there's electric furnaces later on, but we don't have those yet. I think there's a way to research them. So since we need a bunch of iron, let's put a few of those down. And put some furnaces in front of them. Now there's a way to automatically put coal in these, and I'll try that in a bit here. Probably also use another few mines here. Oh, I think we ran out of coal in the boilers, so let's go take care of that. Can we put more than 50 in? No. This needs a box. Let's try making uh, bigger boxes here. Iron chest. looking good. I 
I think there's a way to run and collect as you go. But I'm not quite sure. Well, let's try to feed coal into this automatically. And we can build some conveyor belts, transport belts. So how do we do this? Let's go like this. I need a bunch more here. I think if you shift if you right click it'll make five of something instead of yeah right clicks five left clicks one so what am I gonna do here I'm just gonna load I think I'm gonna do it like this Need some more. And then you build these little things called uh, inserters. We can make the electric version now, so we'll do that since we have electricity now. Instead of going into these boxes, what we can do is this little inserter down. And you want to rotate it. Oh, it doesn't have power. Let's put some power cables here. So, is it going to work? I think I've done something wrong here. Maybe we could have put it directly on the conveyor belt. Let's try that instead. So we'll pick all this up. Oh yeah, so we didn't even need the, the little arms. So this will automatically send coal down here. Oh, and now we need the thing, the little arms inserter. So we'll put one here. Give it some power. Rotate it. It's going the wrong way. <laughs> it doesn't look like it can take coal off and put it in here. thought we'd be able to do that. You can use the F key to just pick stuff up. That. Maybe it's on the wrong side, so we'll try to loop it around and bring it back the other way. See if that works. Oh! It's working now. Once I rebuilt it, it seemed to work. Okay, that's good. Not sure why it didn't work before. Let's try to put another one down here. Let's stop putting coal in here, I don't know why. I guess it maxes out at five coal. So if we take a little bit of coal out, or take all the coal out, it'll fill it back up to five, but that's it. Interesting, okay. Okay, so it's working, it's just... Didn't know how it was working. <laughs> things fill up really fast. Got a lot of iron plate now. We haven't been attacked yet, so that's good. Let's 
build some firearm magazines in case we get into get into a fight and we can build some light armor these stopped because they're full and we can replace these replace these with electric drills actually so let's make some more electric drills Pick these dirty ones up. Put these ones down. And we need some power. Okay, another electric mining drill. We gotta move this furnace over a bit. Now I read that for every boiler you're supposed to have two steam engines, so we'll just stick a second one here. And hook it up to the power line. Let's go collect our stone, we haven't gotten the stone in a while. We'll probably want to lead some electricity up there as well, eventually. This is probably a bad setup because it's all it's all blocking, it's all stacking up. So what I might do is hmm, place these with iron chests, and maybe take out of the iron chest and put on the conveyor belt. That might work. Gonna move up our power around here. Oh, gonna reach. Okay. Now, if we put an inserter here, we'll let it grab out of there and put it in there. Let's see. Yeah. That way this won't be blocked by the conveyor belt stacking up. Oh, it's going on the wrong side though. <laughs> That's funny. Now if we can't use it from the other side, we'll just kind of remove this loop and do it straight through. Put an iron chest there. Okay, what else can we do? Radar scans the nearby area. 300 kilowatts of power. How much is 300? How many kilowatts do we have right now? We have maximum power output 900. Okay, so we can build a radar dish. Let's build that. Stick it right here, I guess. We probably should send some coal over to this thing so we don't have to fill it manually. Now can we split off this without a splitter? Like this? Nope. But could we take off this belt and put it on another belt? Or is that just going to deplete it? Let's, let's try it. We'll make a belt this way.
It should automatically take the iron out of these. And stick them on a belt. Oh yeah, so I forgot to mention this radar thing uncovers pieces of the map. So these tiles up here have been uncovered and I think it just kind of broadens the area as it goes. Try to put an inserter here to load this with coal. Oh no, it's taking coal out. Wrong way. <laughs> Let's try to take an inserter. And grab from here and put on that belt. Okay, that's working. But it's gonna grab, it's gonna take steel or coal. But eventually it'll back up, I think, and then that way it won't be able to take any more. Oh, it's not even picking it up. Oh, probably because it's. There we go. I think it'll back up. And then some coal will flow through. Let's build a few more inserters here. To take the product out and put it into a chest. There we go. So that way we don't have to manually come out over here and empty these. We just come and get it out of the chest. I want to do the same thing down here, but got to figure out how to do it. Now there's some research we can do. We need a research lab. Let's try building one of those. This I'm less familiar with, so... Actually, before I get into research, I'm going to wrap up this episode, I think. This one's probably long enough. It's really the very early bits of what you can do in this game. I've seen giant giant factories that take up like the whole map and the way the map works actually is it's generated as you kind of explore so in a, in a way it's kind of infinite. So next episode I'll try out research and we can unlock some new things. Just as a preview though if you hit the T key it opens up the technology tree. So these are things that we can research in yellow, things that we can't yet because we need to unlock earlier things. It's like there's one called automation, turrets, walls, stone walls, it's cool, cool stuff. But we'll get into that next, ep next episode. So if you like this video, uh, please uh, give it a thumbs up and if you want to get alerted on future videos that I put out, hit that subscribe button. And hit the little bell if you want an email each time I release something. And let me know if you think this game's cool and you want me to continue on doing episodes on it. I'll probably do at least a few more. Uh, we'll see how, how you guys like it and what you think of the game. Like I said, in some ways it's similar to Oxygen Not Included in that you can kind of bolt together machinery. And later on I think there's uh, ways to manage liquids as well, which is similar to Oxygen Not Included. The graphics are obviously different. It's not as cute. Um, but I think the richness in the detail is way more developed in this game than Oxygen so far. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.